Hello there, my dear friends. Today, let's dive into the magic world of UV light. And especially in the UVC light area. The most interesting, but also the most dangerous form of light. Therefore, I have to protect my eyes. This is dangerous. It really is. We are talking on the magic of a mercury vapor lamp. A gas discharge lamp that uses an electric arc through vaporized mercury to produce light. And a mercury vapor lamp has lots of emissions. The strongest ones are 578 yellow orange, 546 green, 436 blue, 405 violet, 365 UVA, 254 UVC and 185 nanometer. A nanometer describes the frequency of the light. And these are all electromagnetic waves, which starts with the radio waves, then we have the microwaves, then we have the infrared light, we have the visible light, and now we have the ultraviolet light, and after that already come the X-rays, and then the gamma rays, and later the cosmic rays. And the spectrum of ultraviolet light is divided in four parts. We have the long wave UV, which goes from 400 to 315. We call it the UVA. Then we have the middle wave UV, the UVB, which goes from 315 to 280 nanometers. And now we have the short wave ultraviolet, the UVC from 280 to 200 nanometers. And we have the vacuum ultraviolet. I call it the space light from 200 nanometers to 100 nanometers. And then already we have already the X-rays. What means the vacuum UV has a very powerful radiation. What even comes from a mercury vapor lamp? Probably you already know the black light, which is still in the UVA range. The still visible light, which is around 395 nanometers. You can even see it really clear. Let's look in the camera. Yes. And when we go a little up, but still in the UVA range, we have the 365. You nearly can't see it. When we compare this, this is easy to see, but this is quite strong, but this is nearly invisible. but it illuminates a piece of paper or even the background really clear. Nothing, really nothing, but piece of paper really strong, but they are still in the UVA range, but we can use this to harden UV resin works perfect. But when we go up to the UVC, spectrum. Magic things happen. With a frequency 254, these lamps can kill germs. They have germicidal efficiency and some people even know them from the COVID time as they can kill viruses, bacteria in this frequency range. And they are also used in hospital to keep the surgical instruments clean. So let's turn it on again. at least using the glasses. The light that you see, the cyan, greenish, bluish light, comes from these lots of emission lines from the mercury vapor lamp. But this is not, let me switch it off. I feel it already on the skin. It will burn your skin even worse than normal UVA or UVB light. It's fun to switch them on. But they have such a power. You feel it on the skin. They're killing the germs and probably also good cells. And they do it by destroying the DNA of the cells. Very powerful light, but dangerous. But the most interesting part of these lamps is the vacuum UV. 
the frequency 185 nanometers. This frequency, this wavelength, is capable of changing our oxygen. It transforms the normal oxygen to ozone, the O2 to O3. And this brings the smell like electrical discharge. So when you have a lamp that doesn't bring the smell of ozone, that probably uses dotted quartz glass that is filtering this frequency, 185 nanometers. But when you smell this ozone, and this produces a lot of ozone, what means you have pure quartz glass, and then we have a lamp that is radiating all these frequencies. Powerful. Powerful. What means 254 kills the germs and 185 nanometers produces ozone, which is a strong oxidizer, which also kills bacteria, virus, and so on. When I look to the monitor, I think my skin is already a little more brown than before. <laughs> This is the pure space light, the vacuum ultraviolet. Imagine, this is the light in space, emitted by the sun. But the good thing is, we here down on Earth, we are protected. Our atmosphere completely absorbs it. Good for us. Even our atmosphere has the capability to filter this out. For example, when you want to harden UV resin with this lamp, this doesn't work. Because it doesn't go through the layers of the resin. It can harden even the outer surface, but inside the resin won't get hard. This only happens with these, where the light goes through the resin and the resin gets completely hard. It doesn't work with this. This only goes until the surface. But on the other hand, our air, this lamp has the possibility to transform our oxygen. How powerful is this? Our oxygen normally seems quite stable, but a light form with this high energy. We can't see it. What we can see is just the bluish, greenish light of this UVC close to the X-rays. This has this potential. Let's switch it on once again. makes fun, but we have to protect ourselves. I think I've already got a little more brown in my skin. This is what it looks like. What you see is just the blue-green color, but this is not the real UVC light. This and the smell is so strong from this 185 nanometers. Okay, enough enough. Don't do it at home. I just made it for you here. I don't do it normally. But when we talk on UV light, you want to see at least any show. So let's see what will happen tomorrow. Will I wake up with burnt face? It was way too close. But sometimes we make crazy stuff. This channel, sometimes you know it already make some crazy stuff thanks for watching do you need a lamp like this i don't know <laughs> better not <laughs> thank you so much for watching there's much more good stuff on my channel and i will see you there